Oscar De La Hoya is an idiot. Anybody give a shit? Even had your old friend Oscar jump again, saying how much he loved the fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he say he loved the fight? I think he said, what a great fight, but you got underpaid for it. I yeah. said, he gave Alex some credit. Maybe not you, though. We doing this now? Is that what we're going to do? We're going to no. get into this? No, no. So here we go. Go ahead and hand out the, uh, the thing to them. So normally, you guys know how this works. When people, you know, people like to push the buttons and talk about fighter pay, and you don't ever see us coming out and talking about it or, or doing whatever, because I don't give a shit. When I got 20-something-year-old Jake Paul, a fucking YouTuber, talking about fighter pay or, um, you know, these, these other guys on the Internet, we, we know what the hell we're doing over here. And at the end of the day, my, my, my philosophy is always this. It's nobody's fucking business what these fighters are making. None of these guys are under some type of gag order in their contract. Any fighter on the roster can come out and tell you guys what they make said this a million times they can come out and tell you what to make ask them what to make what'd you make tonight they can tell you they don't tell you you know why they don't tell you because they don't want you to know i wouldn't want you to know either the head of triller says that you blocked gsp from boxing oscar de la hoya and that you made a move for jake paul oh my god don't, don't, don't even ask me about these idiots who gives a shit does anybody give a shit i guess they you do, do? no I don't, I don't give a shit what they think you think I care what Triller thinks? Are you sick and tired of them mentioning no, I, I just, I don't even take their calls. This idiot calls me every day, texts me every day. Please answer my call. Please talk to me. Why won't you talk to me? Because I don't give a fuck about you. Leave me alone. Go fucking do whatever it is you're doing. Knock yourself out. I could care less. I have no interest in talking to any of those idiots. Stop talking about me. What do you, what, what, what do you give a shit what I'm doing? What are you doing? I don't even know what you're doing. What is this thing you're trying to build? What are you doing? You know, and, 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 and why are you talking? What, what, what do I have to do with it? Look at the sport. Why, why are you has, not giving me a number? Has been here for 16 years. No, but you, you're, you know, you're... Because like, uh, what I won't do is give you an inaccurate number. Right, but you said, so Lorenzo, the top, he but you said Lorenzo put a number. So what number did he put Do your up? homework. You're a friggin' reporter. Okay, so... so <laughs> I, so, do your homework. Hey, if you're going to ask me that question, do your homework. So what, like I'm a lawyer and you never ask a no, question? No, you're, you don't you're, know you're the a I asked the question. Oh, you are a reporter. Answer. No, but I'm more interested now in why you wouldn't give the number as opposed to what the number I, is. I had because the, the number, number that Lorenzo, to be honest with you, isn't necessarily the number. I'm not here to date. Our fighters make $1.2 million on the undercard. Okay? Lie number two. And, and I mean, I, I don't know where you guys want me to go. I could do this forever. Hey, so I... we've had nine events that have surpassed a million buys. Total athlete compensation for those events, $133 million, okay? $84 million went to the main event athletes. $27.4 million went to the co-main event. And $21.6 million lied again. But what I'm saying is... But, but this Oscar's... isn't a bigger situation. This is about this idiot coming on this show and lying. Right. He's a liar. Hey, MMA fighters, I want to promote events where you can make as much as possible, and First your all, model seems to... Oscar De La Hoya is an idiot. He's a liar, okay? And he didn't build Golden Boy. You know it. I know you're not going to smash De La Hoya and be honest about this. You're in the business. I'll you're, always be you're honest. You're not going to battle with Oscar De La Hoya. You're in the business. You have to deal with this well, moron, you know... Michael Jackson, I'm not happy with. This guy was acting like a goofball tonight. I don't know what that guy did for a living before we gave him the shot, but whatever it was, he needs to go back and do that again. Uh, here he comes. <laughs> I just asked a question. Are you a doctor? No, but I, but, I, but I took them and they both worked for me, so why shouldn't I be able to take them again? No, no, come on, dive in. We do have a brain Why shouldn't we be able to take them? Right? You, you want to know what's scary? I bet I could get some fucking pain pills quicker than I could get monoclonal antibodies. No, not maybe. That's a fact. That's a fact. They fucking hand out pain pills like, they, like they're Tic Tacs. And I'm not a doctor, but that's a fact. <laughs> Before we pay $1 in fucking purse money, right? Volkanovsky got paid more to wear his UFC Venom kit than Oscar De La Hoya paid the entire fucking fight card. Do you understand what I'm saying? To walk out with the Venom fight, fight kit on, he was paid more then Oscar paid the entire fucking fight card. I could go on, but I think we all get the fucking point. He's a liar, a fucking YouTuber, some fucking pain pills. I don't give a fuck. They fucking fucking... I could go on.